You are in the mix. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Lena Renee. And it's your girl, Tata Kelly. And, and we, we are, are your sexy, sexy hosts host for In The Mix Podcast. podcast. Let's hey, go. Baby. We got my girl, Diamond White, over here looking beautiful as, as ever. always, man. Ladies, and we also you. have our tax specialist, Jessica, Jessica, over here looking gorgeous. And let's, hey. Come on, in the audience. Let's get these women a hand. <sighs> Let's go! Thank you, thank you, thank, thank you. Thank y'all so much for being here thank tonight. We appreciate having. y'all I'm for having to be Yes, here, for please. being here. Thank so, you. Kelly, did you want to go ahead and, and get I'll, us started you with, know, your, with, your, with whatever you were talking about see, before? See, for me, I feel like um, men nowadays, uh, well, it's, it's been an ongoing thing since the, maybe the beginning of time, really and truly, but for me, like, I ain't even going to lie. I feel like I got taken advantage of mm. deeply. Mm. And I'm going to explain something to y'all, right? And y'all let me know because I know I, I know I got some flaws and I got some faults on my own. But it was this guy. And for years, I want to say almost 10 years, I've been dealing with him off and on. And every time he comes around, I always give him a chance. That's my fault. You feel me? And see, us as women, we have to love ourselves. Mm-hmm. And um, what happened was... This guy, in particular, came around, and me being a big, kind-hearted person that I am, as y'all know, you know, he fell on a rough patch, and I helped him, and I lent him money, and I said, hey, I want this back. You get on your feet, get it, give it back. Birthday come around, bought a Cartier, $6,600 Cartier watch. And it's like, now, man, I want to deal with other females and this and that, mm-hmm. and... I can have no say so if he want to go date other women. And mm. you know what I'm saying? It's just, it's hurtful. So it's like, for me, now I'm like, hey, all right. Well, since you want to go do you, set, set up a date for you to pay me back the money I lent to you. Period. Because, yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? I work hard, man. Uh, I work. Yeah. I get up yeah. every day at 7 in the morning. Okay. And I go work. Mm-hmm. I work, man, Monday through Friday. And then after that, I come here and I'll be with these beautiful, lovely ladies right here. Mm-hmm. And I, I do things to make it happen. But it's just, you know what I'm saying? Like, how do y'all cope with that hurt? Because for me, I wanted to hurt me a motherfucker. I wanted to. <laughs> I was like, you know, I'm going to be the bigger person. And I'm going right. to be like, hey, you know what? I'm good. God got me. I'm going to move on. And then sometimes it's just like, I'm going to text them. I'm going to cuss them out. You know what I'm saying? I'm still waiting on my goddamn money, man. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it's like, how y'all, how do y'all deal with like hurtful situations? And what y'all think, man? Yeah. Let's, Let's let Diamond elaborate on that first. We know she's a strong See, yeah, queen. Yeah, God, side. God is. Just... I know. On one hand, you know, this is my girl, so I'm like, let's just pull up. Yeah. Let's see. I'm not gonna say that because I'm camera. I'm getting out of profession. No, come on, come. No. We don't want the raw. <laughs> you know, we don't want. The... <laughs> to what you said, God does have you, sweetheart. He does, and you can't never let a dude see you sweat. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Facts. You can't never let a dude see you sweat. But moving forward. You have to be careful and guard your heart and be careful of how you give to somebody. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Because I like to spoil. I'm a spoiler by Mm, nature. Everybody around me is spoiled. Mm -hmm. If you my man, you spoil. If you my friend, you spoil. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm just a spoiler. Mm -hmm. But what you have to do is be careful for who you invest in. You understand what I'm saying? Like, you're giving him things that he may not necessarily, he can't even afford to get himself. Mm -hmm. So he really didn't even deserve it. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? But, yeah, you do should want your money back. Yes. You should definitely want your money back and you should go after it. But don't give him the energy to let you harbor on it mm-hmm. and feel bad about it Be you're affected. being a good person mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying a lot of these women out here they so trashy and that's why men that's why they can't get good women yeah. you know what i'm saying that's why y'all yeah. keep getting these women that don't want nothing but your money right because when you have a woman who has her own and is yeah. willing to help you and invest in you, you take advantage take of advantage it. but guess what he gonna want you back yeah you know what I'm saying? He's going to want you back. He's going to want you back. He's going to want you back. For sure. You but don't go back. he ain't going to get that again. Please don't go I back. I ain't. Don't you no, better not go back. You ain't saying it's not going back. I'm not. I'm not. Listen, I'm going to let y'all I'm, know I'm, if on the next episode yeah, she right. don't went back. I'm going to be like, 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 like Jessica. Right. Damn it. Let me let y'all know the update. If she's saying it's strong enough, let him borrow another $2,000. I'm going to be like, hold up. Wait, what? Is it me or is she not saying it's strong enough? 
You don't, yeah, you don't she know. Ain't, she don't she look, ain't. look at her face. Yeah. She's sad like yeah. a little bubble girl. I'm going to tell you, because I feel like it's been many a time, and I've had issues in the past for myself where I've questioned my pride. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, am I not pretty enough? Am mm. I not... I guess I guess maybe I'm not successful enough. It's may had me push. I don't push myself. I bought my own house, single mom. Mm. I don't, I got three cars, single mm. mom. I go to work every day, and it's nothing. Material things come and go, but it's like for me, I get that off the muscle, and mm-hmm. it's like I'm like. Well, maybe I ain't raggedy enough. You feel me? Listen, Ma- what I told you earlier is sometimes guys gives us those types of situations yeah. so that we can actually really evaluate what we're doing in our lives because at this point in time, you're giving too much and you may need to give that energy to yourself. Yeah, Absolutely. You see what I'm saying Absolutely. to yourself because when we're at our best, our best version of ourselves, right. that's when we're gonna get the person that God wants us to yeah. be Absolutely. with. You know I what I mean? With, I agree with that. Absolutely. I, I would just chime in and say that I think a lot of times us as women, like we do have to be accountable. I'm gonna come from a different angle, right? Yeah, like, of course. We can, we can of course. say like these guys are trash and they this and that, but I personally believe like as I grow, like I've, I've been through a few horrible relationships Mm -hmm. and a marriage that failed. Like, Mm -hmm. I feel like we have to be accountable for the signs that we see ahead of time. And sometimes we neglect those signs because we want it to work so bad. We want it so bad. Yes, ma'am. So we do have to do a lot of self-reflecting and we have to say, all right, you know what? I got to be accountable for my choice. Mm -hmm. I gave him the money, Mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. I want my money back, though. Period. Definitely. I gave him the money. So did I know giving him the money that I probably wouldn't have got my money back? Yeah. Just knowing the type of person he is. So I feel like sometimes we do have to be accountable. And as you mentioned, like going through that, you know, loving yourself and finding Mm -hmm. yourself, Mm -hmm. you do find that accountability. And then when you go to the next man, you see those red flags and you already off the roof. No, he ain't the one. (laughs) He ain't the one. I'm good. And as far as to answer your question, you are absolutely gorgeous. Yes. Beautiful. You are, you are beautiful. beautiful. Beyond. 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 You have to, not only in with that, you have to know that. Because yes. what men like to do, and it's not just men, I'm going to say people in relationships in general, mm-hmm. okay? They like to manipulate people, right? right? And then they'll make you think that you are less than because mm-hmm. then it keeps you tied to that person because mm-hmm. you think you can't do better. Mm-hmm. But it's projection. That, yeah. It's really projection. Yeah. They feel that way about themselves. They feel that right. way about so themselves. So that's what they, they project put on those you. energies onto you. Right. And then it makes you feel less. So that goes back to seeing the signs in the beginning and knowing like you're not the type of person for me like I don't even like your energy like your energy don't even match your mind it you know match. Right? the it bible talks about being equally yoked you know what I'm saying mm-hmm. like, and a lot of times so people get in relationships that are not equally yoked in it, right mm-hmm. and you know what and it's so hard especially like when people have like relationship because I counsel relationships yeah, yeah but when people especially like with my friends and they be like in these bad relationships like and I could attest because my assistant, my best friend, over there, right? I have literally never had a bad relationship. Mm. And that's crazy. I've never, ever met another woman that would actually be like, I've, I've never experienced heartbreak like that. I've mm. never been in a bad relationship. But it's because I am so not picky, mm-hmm. but I am so selective yeah. with a relationship. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, I know my worth so much that it is so hard to get in a relationship with me that when he finally do, he does everything he possibly can to mm-hmm. keep me. Because I don't be playing hard to get. I am hard to get. Period. And that's what you need to be. You need to get to a point to where you're not playing. You dead ass hard to get. And then man, when a man, if a man time. fight, when he fight for you to get with you, he going to treat you, he going to value it a little bit easier. More, a little Period. bit more. You understand Period. what I'm saying? Yeah. And then it's going to keep you from being in mm. relationships. Like You can't get in no relationship with me and then I'm trying to figure you out. I didn't already figured you out before we even take that step. Before we get in a relationship, mm. I've already seen who you are. I became your friend. Become his friend. You know what I'm saying? And then let your relationship grow like that over time. And once you do that, then your relationships will be so much better. And then even if your relationships don't work, y'all are... Y'all have such a love for each other that even if the relationship doesn't work on a relationship level, y'all will still be best of friends. Yeah. But you're absolutely gorgeous. Don't ever doubt that. that Yeah. Don't ever doubt that. Yeah. See, that's why these love. Don't let him borrow no more money. I'm not. I mean, I think after (laughs) this, that bridge. Don't let him borrow. That bridge is more and it's ash, baby. It's all been in the air. We done with that. Yeah. Yeah. I think that that was the last straw for me, man. It needs to be. I think it was the, the, 
the, the penis. But uh, and no, and she's no more a, back and forth. I'm just being honest. It's the lust. It's the lust. I'm just being honest. It well, was good, but okay, I'm gonna be good. Well, I'm gonna go into the girl, girl talk question. <laughs> okay, that since we done finished counseling the baby over here, we <laughs> look. You listen, we got your back, girl. Okay. Like, don't let they know. Back. Okay, we ain't about to play with y'all. Don't that yeah, one? Don't that, do you see her right there? Here. You see us over here? Yeah, mm-hmm. her right there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, don't now, play with it. Period. Okay, don't play with her don't like that. Okay, yeah, don't play with me. Yeah. <laughs> so listen. My question is about love languages. I posted this question before, and it was, like, a lot of mix-up and stuff. So, like, okay, so the love languages that I have um, are words of affirmation, acts of service, gifts, quality time, and physical touch, right? And so is one more important than the other to you guys? And everybody can answer this individually, collaboratively, whatever. But is one more important than the other? And if so, which one is most important to y'all? Let me go. Let's go, Jess. I feel like it's situational for me. Like, I feel like in a relationship, like, it's situational. Because one may mean more to me than the other at at a particular time. And I say that because, like, we could talk about active service. If you have a child with a man and you're tired and you, like, you know, you you come home from a long day and, like, he got the house clean and the kids fed and the bath water ran, like, that active service to me has now, like, reached top priority because it's like, damn, I had a long day. Like, Mm -hmm. I come home and he got all this done. Like, that turns me on. Like, okay, he was already on it, you know? Yeah, yeah. And then other situations, I mean, I feel like, I just feel like it's, it's a situational thing for me. I do know my love language, but I I feel like over time, it had, when I, I may have done one like maybe five years ago, i done one recently, and it's different. Mm-hmm. So I know as you grow as a woman, as you grow as, as a person, individual, turning from a wife to a mom to different things, your right. love languages can change because your needs change. Absolutely. Right. So I right. think it's situational for me. Right, right. Okay. I think for me, um, the strongest one is probably going to be words of affirmation. Not so much, and I say that maybe over gifts. Is that what one of them was? Gifts, mm-hmm. right? Yep. I say maybe words of affirmation over gifts because me, I work hard anyway, so I'm going to get whatever the hell that I want Absolutely. on my own. Mm-hmm. So you telling me how much you appreciate me or, you know what I'm saying, right. how much you love me or it, even the actions will show, but actually hearing it from a person. You know, a lot. Of, I feel like a lot of times guys don't express themselves right. and, and say exactly how they feel they Mm -hmm. they don't you know what i mean they just they don't really communicate well in my opinion or at Mm -hmm. least the guys i've dealt with Mm -hmm. i'm um i'll piggyback after that i love that yeah Mm -hmm. definitely um you know the words and the touch the affection yeah not necessarily Sexual. Look, you know ass ass not she sexual. Like, yeah. Not yeah. sexual, like, Kelly. Yeah. Okay. She's like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I need that. Need that. Need. <laughs> need. Need. Let, me, let me be more I specific. Like it, but okay, let I'll me be more yeah. specific. Not specific. Not specific. Not specific. specific. Pacific. 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 Okay. <laughs> Okay. Um, just the touch, you know what I'm saying? Like I am, ve- I'm a Virgo, so I'm yeah, very, very affectionate. Very affectionate. Mm. You know what I mean? So yeah. I like the the you rubs know, and my the, bag. Yeah, and, you, know, you better stop and touching and on me like that now. Hold on know. now, <laughs> man. Listen. I'm just saying now, Diamond. Now wait a minute. Ah, okay. I ain't say give examples. Wait I just said minute. tell me now. Wait, hold up. Ah. Ah. She is a mess. Like, this girl is a mess for real. We ain't cutting. We, we, okay. we still rolling. She said we're still we just rolling, rolling with okay. this shit. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm, like, I'm, okay. I'm super affectionate. So, like, I'm just, As like, I'm for yeah, the word. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm for the word, and I'm for the, I'm for the showing me what you say. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm big on action. Like, yeah. I love to hear things, but your actions need to match your words. Yeah. At all times at when all it comes time. to me. Yeah, at all times when it comes to me. So, yeah. I'm definitely big on, 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 on all word. that. Yeah, it's far like like kind of like what she said about the gifts like gifts mm-hmm. are nice but sometimes a, a simple gift is, me. a simple gift is cool with me yeah, like it ain't my nothing that that's, that's a, a gift, gift. Yes. right because as far as like going to the mall i can go cop any bag i want right. i can go jury whatever you right. know what i mean like right. that's nothing i appreciate it yeah if you do it yeah. but that's not you can't buy diamond you right you can't buy my love right so i'm super super huge on yeah. affection and words of affirmation Definitely. Could be the fa- so my favorite for me, candy bar. Yeah. The what? 
My fa- it could be my favorite candy bar. Yeah. Just knowing yeah. things I like, like small things. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like, yes. People that know I love gummy worms, like, bring me some gummy yeah. worms. She like, said, bring I'm me some like, gummy yeah. worms. I want the ones with the different colors in them and yeah. everything. Yeah. You, know, like, <laughs> you like the sweet and the one with the sour stuff well, on it, too? Yeah. Or what? yeah. All, all of that. that. Yes. All that. Okay. Pull me with attention I remember and time. That. And we can go to the moon and back. See, for me, like, this is the kind of conversation that we had whenever I posted on social media because, like, I was like, one is not more important to me than the other, but I right. can I agree with Jessica same. as yeah. well, but I just feel like yeah. that it's it different all. points in time. I need right. all of I, them. I do need all. I need yeah. all yeah. of I didn't them. say it, but I like, agree. I yeah, need it all. Yeah, you know what I mean? Some people's yeah. like, oh, no, this is the one. I'm like, no, I need all of them. I might need all of them in different orders exactly. at certain points in time, exactly. but I need all of them. You're supposed to get me all of that I love, I, and I'm yeah. supposed to give it to you as Absolutely. well right, right? I agree. like that's what Absolutely. people don't a lot of a lot of people is like oh well I, the, I ain't doing all, no if you want it you if you want it you need to give it as well Absolutely. right you, there, you can't ever right. you can't ever give ever it ask for something you that can't. you're not willing to get and that's a, why I feel like a lot of women have issues yep and why they not it's happy they not happy <laughs> yeah you know yeah. and them the main ones be wanting to give relationship That's advice. That's the main one. The main like, one I can't listen to you. A relationship. You talk to them when they were together. Didn't want to be with them, and those right. are the main ones. The give main relationship one. Advice. Yeah, but know your women. I think you should know your worth. When you know your worth, Period. you're not going to accept nothing. Then all Period. of it. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Period. Like you can't pick and choose what you want to give me. Like I know my worth. Exactly. I gotta have all of all it. I'm of full it. like that. I gotta have all of it. I'm full of myself. Yeah, because I'm giving it all. Like what do I need you for? If you can't do that. I don't Let me do it you. myself. Yeah, yeah. I, I but I, 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 pose, I just want to pose a question because I know we keep saying like women need to know their worth, right? And mm-hmm. I and I I'm intrigued because you said you've never been in like a ba- like any relationship that was just like bad, right? Right. So the question is like for me, like I know we're a little off off target, but I just want to. Mm-hmm. Ain't no off target. I'm, I'm, this girl I'm curious. Talk. How? Where do you think that stem from? Like, where do you think the knowing your worth come from? Where do you think a woman? Where does that drive from? What? What makes a woman, like, say, okay, I want to know my worth. What do I have to do to get there? I think that's a good question. That's a good question. Yeah, a and she's question. the perfect um, person to answer that. I think women, it, it stems more so from your relationship with God. Mm-hmm. Okay? For me. Mm-hmm. Okay? And I'm so you. when you have a relationship with God and you know what God has for you, then you don't want anything less than what you know Amen. God has for you. That's Man, the word. You understand what I'm saying? And so when you know that God has something for you, you just don't want anything less than that. Yes. And you don't accept anything yes. less than that. Yes. You know what I mean? A lot of people think that, you know, your worth is in money or materialistic things mm-hmm. and a lot of women don't know the don't know their worth. Mm-hmm. So they go and then they buy all these weird unproportioned bodies. Oh, Lord, do, speak. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> speak. Yeah, they buy all these weird unproportioned bodies, mm. you know, and they do all this weird stuff, and they're still not happy. So still they had, not happy, You done went right. spend $20,000 on mm. your body for it to look like mm. a baked potato. And feel, and middle, feel and like And now you're still unhappy, and then you're going to do something different. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And you're just not happy, and you're still yeah. because you don't know your worth. Right, you're if happy If you knew your end. worth, that even, that's not even what you would be doing, thinking yeah. that that's going to attract the man. Yeah. Right? You know what I mean? The things that men, and I mean real men, not guys guys and boys and niggas mm-hmm. but real men the things that real men want a lot of women don't even understand it Ooh, and wait. i think the reason why i have n- i have not really had a bad relo- relationship because like low-key like i think like a dude like yeah. i'm low-key Ooh, a nigga me too. Like, i'm I, a nigga you know too. what i'm saying like I'm i am low-key a real lot can right. I say nigga on you? Yes, you can. Okay. <laughs> like, I'm low key. smoking weed and everything. Right. So oh, okay, good. I'm good. Y'all forgot y'all had <laughs> my good. friend Luke Nasty good. on here. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. you good. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, I'm really low key like a dude. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, and I'm, and I'm not... I'm not a lesbian. I'm just, in my, I'm really like, think there is a whole a nigga bad. in here somewhere. Yeah. Like, yeah. So it's just knowing my worth really comes from, I know who created me. Yeah. I know where I come from. I know what he promised me. I know who I am. And I'm cool and comfortable in that. So oh, because I the, that. And then when I give you what God has given in me, mm-hmm. then you got to give me that back. Give I don't back. want you. Yeah. But, yeah, well, I absolutely. think that was important to share that, like, even on this show, just to share it with women. Because we say that often, like, right. mm-hmm. you know, oh, know your worth, know your worth, know your worth. But, like, I have a lot of people that I know that mm-hmm. 
don't know they were. Absolutely. You know, they, the they're thing. in a lot of different And I was at a point where, shit, I didn't know mine. You right. know what I'm saying? And right. I'm looking at my life like, well, damn, I got a great relationship with my dad. Maybe that, maybe, you know, some people have the issue because, it's the, right. you know, the father and the parents. Mm-hmm. Are, but it's like, it really don't have shit to do with any it, of that. Absolutely. It I agree that it has everything to do with what you It say. can, mm-hmm. too, though. It you can think? have something to do with not growing up without a father and and because everybody is different and that's just my opinion but everybody is different and sometimes when women grow up without a father figure and not actually having that example of how they're supposed to be treated now eventually you are supposed to learn Mm -hmm. eventually you can't always blame it on your childhood right Right. but at the beginning it's kind of like you know it's them little girls that have their dads i seen a little girl getting a pedicure and a facial two little girls getting a facial and a pedicure Mm -hmm. When you getting that from your father, you not absolutely not gonna accept it from anything less from a man. But because you know what? that's not true. That's not true. And you know I grew up with my, I grew and, up with and, my and dad, and I my dad has been strongly in my involved. My I, mom and dad I, been married fifty plus years. My mm-hmm. dad has been a living example of what a man is supposed to be and I still ended up with two men that I know I ain't never see, supposed to be married. That's what I was I've been through some that's shit. That's what I was say because it, there are it, so many women that's what yeah. who it's grow up opinion. with their father. Yeah. Most yeah. of the women yeah. who choose horrible men yeah. have Had a good, good father. Yeah. Yeah. I think you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because yeah. I did not grow up with a father you know, figure my like real that. dad in my life like yeah. that. It wasn't like that. Yeah. Yeah. But you know my mom told me every day I was beautiful. I could have yeah. been the ugliest little girl walking around here, but, but I ain't she know. let you know. But I didn't, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's why I say it stems from your relationship with God. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because you can have a relationship with your father and still go get the exact opposite. Mm-hmm. I see women do it all the time. Yeah. No, and I, I see women to. who've never I'm seen sure. a man because a lot of times when you don't, Women who don't have that type of father in their lives, yeah. then they go and look for that type of stuff right. in a man. In a man, So yeah. they really don't want a man that's going to mistreat them. You don't want something that you've never had. Right. You want that security blanket. Right. You want a man that's going to spoil you with time and attention and affection because you didn't have that. Right, you know right. So it's kind of like catch-22. Like yeah. sometimes yeah, it, I think but it for is. some women, it is, it is But I am that, I am that example. That. I am yeah. that example right. of like yeah. having my dad having in my life. And still, we are we are best friends. And still, he'll be like... Why you dating this dude? Or why you with that type of guy? Yeah. And it really wasn't until one point in my life, though, that my dad did say to me, he was like, you know what? Like, don't bring another man home that ain't got no real job. Because at one wee. point, I was just going through that whole thing and just dating dope boys, right? Mm-hmm. So it was just Ooh like, wee. you know? Oh, <laughs> wait. He was okay, like, I don't bring relate. another nigga relate. home that ain't got no real job, right? right? But the dope boys treated me great. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. But he, to my dad, he was like, no, they, they're, you know, they not it for you. Yeah, like, right. I don't see that for you. And then I stepped into the scene, all right, I'm going to get a dude with a nine to five. I got a good job, got a 401k and all of that, you know? And then he was the shittiest, mm-hmm. the yeah. shittiest guy I could have mm-hmm. ever done. And then married him. Right. Yeah. So it was just it was a disaster. But it was he was nothing like my dad, which was so weird. Yeah. Because all my life I'm like, oh I want a guy like my dad. Yeah. Right. And I'm out here searching like, oh, I want a guy like my dad. But, but I, that's the thing right there, and I hate to interrupt you because you was into it. No, go but ahead. it's that it's it's that we search. Mm-hmm. True. And we ain't supposed, we ain't supposed to be searching. To. What the Bible tells you? What does the Bible tell you? I think the man that's right. is fine. Yeah, the man is going to find the woman. That's, that's why I've never, that's that's I've never had a bad relationship. And they probably will. That's why I've never had a bad relationship. Because I was searching. I never started. started. Well, well, We're supposed to wait. Yeah. And that's why I said it's about knowing yourself, too. Yeah. And about knowing what you want. Like you said, having that relationship with God. Mm-hmm. Because you know what's right and what's not. Yep. And sometimes you know. when you sit yep. back and let God be God, yeah. then he'll send you he something. He's going to do his thing. Yeah, he'll send it to and you. And when you're working on yourself and working on making yourself happy within, he going to send it and to you. And that's the biggest thing. Women Wait. like to find happiness in mm-hmm. men. I've never found happiness in a man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like when I, and I'm in a relationship, I love being in a relationship. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mm-hmm. really do. I love being in a relationship. Yeah. But it doesn't solidify me. It right. doesn't. You know what I'm saying? Because right. I'm cool with Diamond by myself. By yourself. And another reason why I don't have bad relationships because... The nigga know I'm cool with being me by myself. No. Right. He know I ain't got no problem. Right. I'm not going to even get to the toxic part. Right. Like when they all that F this, but I am, I you don't have go. time for it. See, niggas know what they can and can't get away with based off of who they're who with. They Some with, of the shit yeah. that these niggas try, a nigga's not going to try me like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Because he already know out the gate, you can't play with me. I'm play like with that. me. You better off playing with your mama. You can't play with me like yeah. that. Right. You know what I'm saying? There's some things I'm not going to tolerate. And, he know, and a nigga know that coming in. He not going to even try me like that. 
like that. Yeah, so you know I think it, I think it has like a lot to do too. Like when like when you're a broken person, like you attracting other broken people. Yeah. So Absolutely. in my yeah. in my brokenness, me too. That's I was me. there too. I can relate. So mm-hmm. when in my brokenness, like I attracted another broken person. He was way more broken than me though, I must say. Right. But, <laughs> but that black <laughs> but that like, I can admit low key, to low key it, shape. But, <laughs> but right, right. But his brokenness bled over to me, right? right. And it just mm-hmm. it, it's like we was it was a toxic relationship because mm-hmm. we just kept breaking each other down yeah. and you just get to that point and I got to a place in my life where I was like I don't want any of that and yeah. it, it goes back to what you said now I'm at a place where it's like it's about me and God yes. okay. it's about me God and my kids yes. you know what I'm saying like yes. I don't want no, I don't want to people be hitting me up they sliding in my DMs like let me take you out no I am cool right, right. I am cool exactly. I don't know when he's for me when God sends him to me absolutely exactly. I've been through too much now and like I was saying before like I'm I'm holding myself accountable right. for mm-hmm. making all of those mistakes I'm yep. accountable for saying I saw all them damn stuff and I still just said I'm going to keep going I'm going to keep dealing with right. it I but I account. knew I knew he wasn't right for me like mm-hmm. I knew that that marriage wasn't right for me and I still did it anyway right. I knew that the last relationship wasn't good but I still did it anyway mm-hmm. Right. so it's me now looking in the mirror being accountable it ain't his fault he was broken mm-hmm. but right. it was me for moving forward with it knowing damn well that was not for me right. and yeah. that's what I love about her about the whole accountability thing. Yeah, you got it. Like, I love that because mm-hmm. that's where I feel women go wrong at yeah. is they do not take accountability. accountability and not yeah. only do they not take accountability, you look at the red flags, yeah. you see the red flags, yeah. and you still be still like, be going on. girl, you know what? The D. The D. He got that. And <laughs> girl, the D. And I'm, it was I'm a D, y'all. But, but it was a D, y'all. And in all honesty, I feel like, um, absolutely, Jessica is... is completely right as far as accountability but i think for me i don't think i've really seen exactly what a good man looks like for me my dad was always in and out of the streets my dad in and out of prison you know what i'm saying so i ain't really had that father figure that i say this is how you supposed to be treated you get what i'm saying mm-hmm. i went looking mm-hmm. and see on, a, on another note i didn't necessarily date drug dealers but like my well, my first daughter's dad he's a professional doctor in florida so it's like i thought okay let me get with a professional guy he didn't necessarily treat me the best either we we have a great co-parenting relationship but i don't think i've ever seen a good guy like you know a guy that'll actually treat a woman right my second daughter's dad he's not even in the picture he's never met his child Mm -hmm. and he chooses not to so it's like you know what I'm saying? I think I've I've picked all the wrong guys, and that's my fault. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Because I don't know. I just I think I kind of fall I, gullible to, you know, and holding on to hope to. Okay, this person's gonna do right by me. This person is gonna. So, treat like me. Diamond yep. said, have you found happiness within yourself? Um, I you think that's saying? something that I've throughout the years I've struggled with because remember, Lena, I've I've shared in the past for me not loving myself enough. I've tried to kill myself twice. I've been Baker acted twice in the state of Florida. Mm-hmm. So it's like, I think that's something that I've always struggled with. Yeah, It hurts me to this day. You know what I'm saying? The things I've gone through. But I don't let that stop me. Absolutely and I have not. two daughters. That's yeah. why I got to show them. And I have masculine energy. Yeah. Right? You know what I'm saying? I'm, I don't necessarily, I could, I could soften up for a guy, but it's just like, I don't want nobody to constantly keep taking advantage or you know what I mean? Bringing hurt or, you know what I mean? You're not bringing peace or, or happiness or joy. You, you're taking peace of mind from me. You know and those I mean? are the signs, though. Mm-hmm. And you those, know what are, those are the red mm-hmm. flags. If they're not, if they, you know, you see that and if it's toxic and it's drama and you have to second guess it. I feel like if you got to second guess it, it ain't it. It ain't it. If yeah. I'm having to and be like, he, he, did, he did some real, if I'm calling my best friend like, bitch, do you think he ain't it. Right. Because you shouldn't have to second guess somebody that's for you. Mm-hmm. Right. I just that's just my opinion. Yeah, like I feel like right. if I'm second guess and I used to do the same thing. Like I'll be like, Do y'all think this mean that he this or that or this or that? And they'll be like, No, girl, he seemed like he a good man. And then I'll go with the mass majority. Right. Oh, he seemed like he a good dude. And I'll just bypass the, the red flag or that intuition that I had that mm-hmm. I knew yeah, regardless of what my friends said or what they seen on the outside I knew he was wrong for mm-hmm. me and you know I knew else? it was bad I think that a lot of times too this is where women um, we blame men for a lot of things and a lot of times 
not all the time, but sometimes when men are not good men, sometimes it's women. Yeah. It's the women that they choose. Mm-hmm. Because yes. a good woman will make, a man will become, if he, even if a man ain't ready, even right. if a man is a trash man, yeah. a man will a become, man. A, a, seriously, <laughs> a man will become a better man for the right woman. Right. You understand what I'm saying? There are a lot of men who, who are male whores, who don't want to do this, I ain't taking care of no chick, I ain't doing that, I ain't doing that, and then will meet me and be like, what, what, what you, you need? Yeah, what, he what can I do for you? Feet and, yeah. he all, and so I have learned that it's because of what you require. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And, and women do not respect themselves. This new generation this yeah. ch- that these women get away with, yeah. my mom would have a complete heart attack if I was doing any of the shit that I see. Yeah. But a lot of times the men, women do not respect themselves now. Yeah. So because women do not respect themselves, you cannot expect a man to respect you. Right. I see... Do, I see women right now. You go, you marry this man. He didn't pick you up out the strip club, but he's never going to respect you mm-hmm. how he's going to respect you. Mm-hmm. Y'all can have the same man. He going to treat you totally different than he treat her because yeah. he know that he can get away with shit with her, but he can't get away with you. Exactly. Because she don't have that much respect for herself. For herself. Right, you yeah. know what I'm saying? And that. a lot of times when you don't have no respect for yourself, do not expect a man to respect you. Right. Like if you don't have, you don't care nothing about yourself. Yeah. How can you expect a man to sit up here and cherish you and or treat you like a queen? Even, or on, even, yeah. or even, not even respect love. Love. If He's you don't not. love yourself, yeah. you can't expect nobody else to love you. Yeah. You have to give yourself that love that you expect to get from somebody else. So that goes and back respect to the, and the everything. relationship, having a relationship with God and taking yeah, that time absolutely. and really knowing. Yeah. yeah That's it, why I don't follow makes... none of these celebrity relationships. Look at them. They're yeah. just absolutely Toxic. retarded. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And they be the main ones trying to tell you how to get a man, how to get a relationship goal. What is goal about that? Mm-hmm. What is, I don't, I don't know what part of the game this is where you got all these weird so-called street niggas and picking up all these girls out the strip club and wifing them. I don't know what part of the game that is. Yeah. But that is not... The, I'm th- listen, that ain't the, that don't, ain't the right part of the game. I know y'all not going to bring me back, but listen. Shit, I got to right. say it. We, I, we don't, want don't you please come back. I got to say it. Please come like, back. I don't know what part of the game that is, but it is... It, it's I, beyond you. It's beyond me. Yeah. It is beyond me. At what point did we start taking holes and like turning them into to housewives? housewives? When did we start that? Yeah. Well, I, I would say I think a little bit of it too is because the men are getting a little lazy. A yeah. little? Okay, a lot lazy. Okay, ah. now you're talking. <laughs> start over. I feel like like it go back to what you said about the requirement. Yes. Like a lot of them are like Oh, you require too much. I can go over here and get her. So on the flip side of what you're saying, like a good man is going to be like, no, I want her because Thank she's you. respectful. But Thank like you got you. the mass majority of these men that's still out here playing games and doing their thing. They like, oh, I'm going to go over here and play right. because this is easy access. Absolutely. This is easy for me to do. I don't and have to really what? put too that's much into this. That's not the man you want. You right. don't want the man that's like, I ain't got to do don't too do much the work. work. Now you, got right. the, you want the man that's like, you know what? If what I got I to gotta walk do? and get the cheesecake, I'm, I'm going to walk and go get the cheesecake. That's the thing I I want. Shout I want the one it. that's yeah. gonna be like, okay, yeah. I gotta jump through hoops. Right. I'm finna jump through. I'm about to jump through. Cause she's worth it. If I'm, I'm finna gonna be that. around him, yeah. all right, let me have the water. Yeah, they, they, I don't they, want they, the yeah. nigga that's like, if he can go in there and 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 tip her and then sleep with her and. Then, I don't want, that's not the dude I want anyway. Anyway. I don't want him. Exactly. He's not for That's me. the thing. Let me ask y'all beautiful ladies this, right? Just to get a, a little off topic here. And, and all ass and titties aside, <laughs> what would y'all say? <laughs> it's going to be y'all best attribute about yourself. Your, your, your physical feature. Or physical? even physical, no. physical or, or even, even, not even just physical people. What's some of the best things that you would say? So let's do the heart. non-physical my attribute. Heart. Mine, yeah, oh. my heart. Your heart? My heart, absolutely. Yeah. My heart. You got a beautiful, yeah. yes. Thank good you, heart. Baby. Diamond does have a good heart, man. Thank you, she, she, she just it. genuinely shows love to really and truly everybody in the room. I've seen it for I'm myself. Sorry. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? She said, I've seen it for myself. <laughs> I, I have, it. man. Just, just fully you, embracing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Absolutely. What about what about you, Jessica? I think my spirit. Like I think I got a good spirit, and I think I connect with people on. What they say the Kendrick spirit. You can yeah. Kind of, yeah. I think it'd be my spirit. Like I think 
I think I'm dope inside when you really get to know me. I think that outer shell sometimes throw people off, but when they really spend time with me, they be like, damn, like you, you dope. Like you really yeah. dope. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know I was going to get that. So, right. yeah. Okay, yeah. Lena, what, what, what about I you? I would definitely say my heart, too. I mean, I'm yes. from the country. I am a country girl. I love everybody. And I've had to stop myself from loving people so much because I'm like, <laughs> okay. you know, like Absolutely. I'm in a big city. Uh, and I'm like, girl, you can't yeah. trust. Like, But I moved here from Dallas. So in Dallas, I learned my lesson. And I'm like, okay, right. when you get to Atlanta, you need to stop being so damn friendly. Like, because you can't like everybody like yeah, that. Well, I don't know if she did that because when I, I first met you, you, you know, so Friendly. And the thing about it is, is that I but can't change good. who I, I am. You. Yeah, you I can't I'm change who I am. Yeah. And I, I'm not, I'm not but I'm way more cautious and now. Guarded. Right, Absolutely. yeah, I'm way more like, uh, never mind. You know what I mean? But right. I still love people. I love people even if they are bad people. Right. I pray for them Absolutely. and I move on from the situation. So I would definitely say my heart to you can you can take a girl out the country. You can't take the but country. But you can't take yeah. the country out yeah. the country. I agree with her though. I agree with you. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. and I think that's why me and her clicked when we first met because you would have thought we knew each other forever. Cause <laughs> we were just like cousin <laughs> Pete. Like we was it was just always <laughs> was, you know it. Like yeah. it was just like straight yeah. love from the moment we met. And it yeah. was and it was super dope because a lot of times you meet girls that are pretty but their attitudes are so horrible, horrible that yeah. you like, oh, my God. So her attitude and her spirit and everything just exudes her beauty. And she's absolutely gorgeous on the Thank outside. So, so it just, you know, it's just a combination. It's and a I just blessing love it. and like a she's curse. Just a, she's just a dope yeah. person to know. Thank you Both so of these much. ladies, actually. Yeah. Thank like you. It. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. even though this is my first time meeting you, I we think like you are you super dope. I think like you are super dope. Yeah. I'm glad that and y'all can And these ladies are, like, like, super pretty. Thanks, so, thank like, you. it's, like, everybody like is three, beautiful. four, like, three beautiful women up here. Yeah. And y'all, y'all are super dope. See, I love yeah. it. And that's, 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 like, me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I think, I, look, I'm going to say spirit as well. Since you said heart, heart. I'm going to say spirit I think spirit and love is go hand in hand. Yeah. Okay. I got you. That energy. See, for me, I hype anybody up. You know what I'm saying? Facts. That's me. I like to have fun. Right. I'm like, 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 you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm the hype girl. I'm the hype friend, too. Yes. My friends come to me. I'll be like, yeah, do that shit. Let's do that shit. Right. Like, you always so amped up. You got to is. What is it? Let's do it. I be amped. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not the hater. I'm the one that's going to hype you up. You're going to think like, you want to put superwoman exactly. when you get through yeah. messing with me. Again, you never know what the next person is going through. Like, absolutely. I look at Kelly, and, like, she's absolutely gorgeous to me. And right. from what I know from Kelly, she's beautiful from, from the inside out. She's beautiful as well. Right. I would never have thought in a million years that she has attempted suicide. Right. Ever. So I always just try to, you never know what the next person is going through. You absolutely. know what I mean? Absolutely. Like, yeah, y'all saying I'm pretty, I might go home and cry because I, you know what I'm saying, whatever reason. So it's always good to try. I, I try to be as godly as possible. I try to yeah. do as what God would do. Absolutely. Like God would right. want me to tell that that person, telling that person that they're beautiful for the day might be the first time that they heard that in a year. Right. And it may make Absolutely. them want to go yeah. do something more with themselves because Absolutely. you gave them that compliment. And people don't understand that. Right. And you know with social media and the way that everything is so just out there televised, everything just everywhere like that. Like people spirits be really down now. People right. have really low energy now because they look at people that's most of the time faking. Most of the time don't even have what they posting they have. Okay. And all of that stuff. But right. it makes people feel bad about themselves right. and it's like no you're great you're doing great you're doing wonderful keep going right. like you don't know who needs to hear that Absolutely. and I know that's why I'm here because God gave me that energy to get to other Absolutely. people you know and what I'm saying Absolutely. people don't understand that man. that's why I hate social media me too like I'm terrible like I literally just had a show in which y'all were there thank y'all so yes. much for coming yeah you killed it she so good <laughs> man killed oh it oh my god y'all are super dope thank Ooh, she's I had, killed it do you know I still ain't posted from the show Man, I, I did. I do not post. I'm so terrible. I'm got. going to post today. Yes. Okay? But I'm terrible with posting. I hate social media. You might as well media. wait till tomorrow. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I just, so you I just it, hate social yeah, media. I, I, I hate, hate what it does to people's self-esteem. It really does. You know what I'm saying? It, it really makes people does. feel bad and down yeah. and 
you know, and people feel like they got to keep up with the next person. Yeah. Every female on there, they all look the same. Yeah. You know, it's no originality. No originality. It's no nothing. It's like everybody's yeah. doing the same thing. Everybody's happy. Yeah. Everybody lying. Like, Ain't I'm nobody just... She said everybody, everybody lying. Everybody lying. You was not happy all the time yeah, like it that. it just irritate me. You know, it's just like... <sighs> but I think, I think for me, though, I take social media a different way. Like, I, I only... I ent- I'm intentional about the people that I follow. Yeah. But so if it's too, not positive... Pe- yeah, <laughs> like, I seek you. out, like, positive stuff. So every time anything come up on my feed, it's like positive energy, positive vibes. Like, so... Yeah, yeah. I don't even follow nobody that's like, oh, I'm, the, you know, I'm a bad bitch. Fuck y'all, ho. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. that, that type of energy. Like mm-hmm. I don't follow people like that because yeah. it do, t- it do tamper with your spirit. Yeah. Like you're like, okay, damn, I'm not good enough. Yeah. Like, and that's why, and that's why, like, why I, I that's why I don't like social media. I be bored yeah, because yeah. everybody I follow is like business. Like I follow yeah. a club promoter, a DJ. <laughs> yeah. and so it's like I don't have nobody that I can follow right. that's actually like doing something productive. And right. Positive. Right. I, like the females, I meet some really dope females. Right. Mm-hmm. But there are some females I don't follow. I right. don't want you up and down my time. Line right. twerking yeah. all day. Right, I right, don't right. personally want to see that shit. Right, 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 you know what I'm yeah. saying? So I don't want. I, I, it's not that I'm hating, or it's not that I. I don't. You know, I don't think you a cool person, mm-hmm. and I don't like you. I could love you to death. Yeah. But I don't want to see you twerking it on my timeline all day. Energy. It don't feed into my energy. Yeah. It don't help me. It don't inspire me. Make you it grow. It doesn't nothing. It's just yeah. like I look at it. I'm really disgusted that that's all you think you were. Right. That that's all you think that you have to offer the entire world, and you're yeah. doing it for free. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, come let's on. talk about doing it for free. Yeah. <laughs> let's you talk do- about doing it for free. <laughs> okay. Let's talk about and doing it for free. You know, like. Back in the day, yeah. when I was a kid, when you were a hoe, you was a hoe because you was trying to make money. Right. Yeah. These hoes are hoes because they want attention. Like, yeah. you go to the strip club. Or a they- blunt. Yeah. She uh, said, right. or a blunt. They, they, they get naked not for weed. Not a blunt. They're not talking about blunt. Yeah, bitch, you get naked for weed. Like, you know, okay. Oh, oh, that Lord part. Jesus. Like, these ho- these females is climbing up a pole, sliding down, busting their damn head to the white meat. <laughs> because. Or a blunt. Not for, for a blunt. Real. I for mean, a blunt. and, 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 and then the nigga yeah, walk no, up I've and throw it. three dollars on the stage. I'm like, not the three. <laughs> like, wait, to wait a not minute. the trace. Wait a minute. No. Like, you got you. You, you this you just can't be like that's so sad. Like, it is this like, can't but, be like. But again, that's that's what the that's the world we live in right now you know yep. it's unfortunate but that's the world we live in right now so i, I really cool that's why they need friends. more positive women like cool us yeah. stri- like i cool, love like, i love dancers like I, lo- I got some cool i'm talking about some cool stripper friends yeah but i just wish they know they work more yeah because and i guess the reason why because i don't bash them I, yeah. I bash the behavior right because they're not even happy right you know what i'm saying they they come off like they are, but when yeah. you know them and you meet them personally, they They're be some happy. of the most miserable, depressed, yeah. and you like, you doing all this because you want degrading. this car. Yeah. It's so degrading. Mm-hmm. Like, you don't even know your worth. You don't yeah. understand how much you have to offer the world that you think this is what you have to subject yeah. yourself to. And I really feel bad for them because I have some friends and they are just so miserable you and understand then, the amount of people that i have to counsel because and then they ready to on, jump off a building yeah and you know? on top of that too they do all that and they get so caught up in the game and they get so caught up in that quick money that, quick that money. they just blowing it yes. so even though they supposed to be send, spending saving for this car right. they done went out one day at the louis vuitton and gucci store and or spent 20k right. and right. then you're, they done lost them so they go back to work so that day to get it back right. you know what i'm saying yeah, so like it end up being a cycle right. like cycle. save the money it's get like out a, of there. Like yeah, yeah you, know you, get, you get it quick and then you spend it you quick. You get so addicted Absolutely. to it. It's a drug. It's really like crack or something. Right. Yeah. And so you know what I wish? I wish that a lot of the females who were doing that, who aren't happy, would say that. Yeah. I wish that a lot of them, when they would get out of that situation, yeah. you know what I'm saying, encourage other females yeah, especially to be okay. young ones. Yeah, because a lot of the girls, especially like on social media, I've yeah. seen so many girls, they... You know, they do all this degrading stuff. They sleep their way to the top. And then they get to the top and then start shitting on everybody else and calling them hoes. And I yeah, be like, like girl, minute. I seen you. I seen you. Right. Like, <laughs> like we forgot that I was hoes. I seen your ass. Like, they, they, they really come out and act like we forgot. Like, you was the same. 
Like, you know what I'm saying? And then you glorify it, and then you act like it's cool and I love but you don't. Because if you did, then why when you get on, you take all your old pictures down? Yeah. Leave that shit up. Yeah, leave it up. You know what I'm saying? It was okay at first. Yeah, right. it was cool at first. Yeah. Don't take it down now. Yeah. Leave it up. That's what you're glorifying. I got a question for you, though, Diamond. So, like, I I noticed in, in the, uh, when we was at the last performance. She messy. Listen, no, I swear. <laughs> like, it ain't even messy. No, nah, what, what happened now? It ain't even messy. I swear to God, what, it's what? not messy. I just, I just remember you saying, like, you know, you tired of ghost writing. So, like, like who oh, do you yeah. roll for? Yeah. Like, I just want to know. And if, if, that's, if that's too. Look, we was shouting out. Don't messy. pass them shit. No, don't pass, <laughs> don't pass them shit. Nothing. Like, keep your <laughs> shit. Like, yes. I didn't want, and I'm like, damn, who she been going to uh, I'm, I'm listening, and I'm like, I bet she done wrote some dope shit from somebody yeah, else. Yeah, we were listening like, to I like, listened. Ooh. I heard, I heard, I seen you. I we seen, seen you. it, man. We waiting. So. Yeah. She said, Jessica said, we waiting. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes, Jessica, tap in, Jessica, mm-hmm. tap in. First of all, even though I love her, what I'm not about to do is let her get me blackballed already. <laughs> <laughs> listen, I just want to. So, listen, no, answer it accordingly. She said so, she answer it accordingly, yeah, boo. So I'll, she going to plead the fifth. I have ghostwritten not only for some of the, I didn't ghostwritten some of y'all careers with the stuff y'all Ooh. doing. Oh, wow. And um, mm-hmm. and I can mm-hmm. and I can say that boldly because I can back that up with facts and receipts. Mm-hmm. Fact check, Speak mm-hmm. on it, fact mm-hmm. check. <laughs> Y'all heard my dog, so, man. Uh, yeah. yeah, and anything I say, mm-hmm. I mean, I stand on it. I love it. Say, Ten toes, say, listen, say it twice. Listen. Down. Rewind it and say it again. I love it. Yeah. Like, yeah. And I respect it. Like, because a lot of people don't write their own music. You know what I'm saying? They don't. That's we why I don't really off. like Sorry, y'all. Yeah, we went from Girl Talk to uh, the music career. Sorry. <laughs> but, I they mean, don't. I wanted to know because it led into what we was already talking about. So, it's like, it's dope that you are able to write your own music. I think and that that's other should people's be a too. requirement. It should be. To be a rapper. It should if, be. If you, now there are some singers yeah. are people that can write music but yeah. are not necessarily a singer, singer. or performer. That's one thing. That's another but thing. The yeah. art of hip hop mm-hmm. is how well you are able to construct words and put them in a song. Right. If that is not what you do, right. then you are not a rapper. You yeah. are not an artist. Ooh, period. You do karaoke. Karaoke. Okay. So if you have a song and you got 10 writers on this one song, mm-hmm. then it's karaoke. Yeah. It's not, you are not. An artist. It's not really part of being an artist. It's part of you creating. It's not. I mean, okay? for real. So it's a disrespect to yeah. the genre of music and the people that paved the way for the people to do what they do. Yeah. For you to come in and actually have absolutely no talent and be like, oh, you know what? If I sleep with such and such mm-hmm. and get this person on a song, I could be like a rapper. Yeah. Like, yes. Like, if I get butt naked, yeah. oh, my God, right. I could do this. Right, right, right. So, yeah, it don't diamond. take too much talent these I'm just days. Fire. It don't I'm take just too saying. much talent fire. these days. I'm just saying. But you know what? Hey, I, I got a side with on that now. You know what I'm saying? Like it's it's. <laughs> See, this is why I don't drink. This is why this is cranberry juice because yes. I am scared of what I would. I don't. I don't really know what I'm gonna say when I'm sober. So I'm scared to drink. That's why I, this is crazy. We ain't even going to. Look, you, you said that, I'm okay? sipping like I'm drinking, dog. Yeah. Yeah. You grown, right. though. You, you really said you grown, though. Really really do. yes. You really do. You sipping <laughs> like you sipping on something. Okay. We ain't even going to sit. That's. I look very And what about Jessica over here? Jessica, you so you got a whole tax business, right? Yes, I do. Man, I need my taxes done. Oh, right? Come get me see back the maximum. Yes. I need the maximum amount come back. See, I can get you the maximum amount back. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yes. 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 See, yeah, women, so it's okay to have jobs. It is okay it to really have jobs. It's okay to have jobs and businesses. Yeah. And be doing something. Absolutely. And, and be doing it in a sexy, classy way. Because she's sexy. Yes. Thank you. you know what I'm saying? Thank but she's you. classy. Yes. Thank you. So I love it. She I think, is classy. But I think the culture, though, I think we have to be educated. Like, a lot of... We go back talk about the strippers and things like that. I think a lot of us, you know, we want that quick way, that quick exit, right, to get out the, the hood or get out wherever right. we are. To, but I feel like we don't know enough, right? And that's not really our fault. Mm-hmm. You know, we've been deprived as a culture, as a people. So I feel like sometimes that's the avenue that we go. Yeah. But we have to be educated. We have to educate ourselves. Now we got Google. We got social media. We got all these things that you can follow, different things you can learn and teach yourself. And just networking with different people, and they can help you learn as well. So a lot, you know, I don't know how much them strippers really be making, but I know in the tax business, within four months, you can make up to 100 k 
mm-hmm. in four months alone. Mm-hmm. Right. Just doing doing your thing, just filing taxes. Um, and currently I am building a team mm-hmm. to come work for my company. Okay. Um, so we are looking for people that want to learn how to prepare taxes and teach you how to I might need to hook you up with my friend. I got a homeboy named Garrett Cole. He stay out here in Atlanta, too. He's, like, super big in the tax industry yeah, world. Yeah, his thing. link me. Shout out to my homie. G said, link, link me. me. Yeah. Link me. I would definitely link, me. link yeah. y'all. Any of y'all need a, a realtor? I got a homeboy out here. So well, well, I, I actually like, I got just some, got my real estate license as well. Okay, so yeah, you better yeah, talk yeah, about it. You guys yeah. know that. Real estate. Let's see. Real estate. Let's go. That's Caleb Williams North, so I will be getting into Yay. it. I'm just going to take my time so I can make sure I give y'all the best experience ever. Yes. I want to be well, one of congratulations. Thank yes. you so yes. much. That is amazing. Thank you yes. so yes. much. That I love it. Amazing. And you know what? I used to feel kind of how you felt when you was like, you know, we not, we don't have all the resources and educating themselves and all of that. But I'm going to go back, go back to yeah. Your word of accountability. Mm-hmm. I think it's our fault. Yeah. Because at this day and age, there should be absolutely no Ooh, it reason. Ain't no excuses. There's no excuses it because we have access to too much. Too much. And we may not have the handouts mm-hmm. that everybody has, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Can we still go? We turning on oh. the lights. We turning Turn back on. Turn the lights. On. Hey. Yeah, because you know, I look cute with the light on now. Period now. Don't try. off. <laughs> okay. Don't play with yourself. Don't play. So, it's like we have too many resources, resources. too mm-hmm. much access like with the internet with stuff like you got to remember black people are some amazing people Ooh, so everything beautiful. that we looking around black people have created yeah. from these cell phones yeah, to right. these lights yeah and they was doing that without all of the internet and mm-hmm. without all of the resources they was doing it when they couldn't even get the credibility for doing it yes. because you had White people coming in and Trying being like, oh, we got the money. We're going to mm-hmm. back it, and we're now going to take credit for what you created. Yeah. And then when you go to school, we're going to take out of history what the black people created. We're going to give y'all a month, teach right. y'all a little bit about slavery mm-hmm. and, right. and move month. forward. You right. know what I'm saying? Because there was a lot of stuff that I didn't even know black people were responsible for creating. Right. Yeah. You know what right, I'm saying? Right, right. So yeah. all of the things that they have taken out to do, like when I be looking, you know, sometimes when I see social media and I'm looking at, you know, this young black girl and she's, you know, she just graduated from college and she 15. 15. You know what I'm saying? And I'm Ooh, looking at, so you know, now. this scientist over here that has just figured out this new thing and all of this. And I'm like, black people are amazing. We amazing. So at real. this point, if you're not doing anything productive with your life and yeah. you're not pushing forward to be something, something other more. than what the white man really wants you, want to, you be, to be, which is Ooh, nothing. Nothing. That's your fault. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? For even real. when you, even, even just going to prison yeah. like when we were being a slave back yeah. in the day we couldn't help that we couldn't you know what i mean it, because yeah. we you were stolen we you no were choice. sold you didn't have a choice mm. now y'all volunteering to go to you, jail yeah you know yeah. what i'm saying I like you were that. volunteering to go to jail yeah. you're snitching on each other yeah. you're snitching on yourself it in song. We you niggas about that is earlier. Putting, y'all like I tell got what telling of the crime Look scene, at the weed right here. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Look at all the weed in the drugs. Yeah, I got that got working. So it's yeah. like, y'all snitching on yourself. Yeah. Back in the day, niggas used to have to be like, which one of my homeboys rolled on me? Which mm-hmm. my homeboys told on me? You don't got to do that. The yeah. FBI is looking at your page. Looking like, at your page. Oh, okay. So you just going to tell on yourself. Yeah. So oh, what nigga, address you at? This nigga already said he just popped out tonight. We already know where he's at. <laughs> <laughs> With yep. a trunk full of... <laughs> a trunk yep. full of... You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, at some point, you know, we don't have all of the... You know, it's not we. It's not easy. It's and I'm, not. I'm not saying it's easy. It's not. But it's it's there. Yeah. You know, it's the there. The resources are definitely the resources available. Are there. But you know yeah. what I wish our people would do too? I wish they would come together more. Oh, yeah. We talk it. Yeah. It sound good. Yeah. But we don't come together. Yeah. Like, we're like crabs in a bucket. Everybody want to get on top so you can shine on Jealous everybody and, and be yeah. like, oh, yeah, you I'm doing this. Doing better and than I'm me. doing that. And I'm mm. doing that. Like, I don't want that. I want everybody around me rich. I don't want to yeah. take care of nobody. Nobody. Right. And when I say yeah. I don't want to take care of nobody, I don't want to take care of nobody. nobody. Body. Yeah. I want everybody around me rich. Yeah. It's almost gonna be. Yep. It's 
almost going to be, like, unacceptable to be my friend and not be rich. Period. Like, I'll help yeah, you get I'm rich. i trying to be in diamond circle. Yeah. Hey, Come on, get in my <laughs> okay, circle. Because right, it's going to be up, unacceptable. Right. I don't want no friends and you not rich. I don't want you yeah. jealous of me. Yeah. When I say, let's go to Europe, I don't want you. ain't got no money I ain't to got go. it. I yeah. want to be like, what are you doing for the weekend? Right. Okay, I'm finna. Okay, don't worry about it. Let everybody. I let's book everybody free. shit. I ain't tripping. Like, I want everybody to have money. I don't want to have to take I care of nobody. I think Jay-Z said that, though. I think he said it best. Like, you know, you me- you measure your success about by how many people around you that you don't put on and made successful. Right. Yeah. As well. Not right. that you the only one in your crew. Like, oh, I'm I'm a millionaire. Right. Yeah. And, and sometimes it's not just about who you put on that you can make money off of. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. Sometimes no, you need to really put people legit. on. Yeah. And. They make they making money. You might right. not make money off you everybody you put on. That ain't, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Sometimes it's cool. Goal. That shouldn't be the goal. That you know what I'm saying? Be, like yeah. sometimes you might put somebody on that you're not getting a check you ain't for. Getting a check but for make it. so much money that you're not tripping. That, that it's okay tripping. for you to put somebody on and you exactly. won't get a check for that. And you know that they good when you ready to take the check. I mean right. you ready to take the trip. Right. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Like no put them on because you know that they need it. Now I ain't saying don't don't make no money off nobody. No, not off nobody. But I'm saying if you Hey, I you like that. Somebody, you know. If you got somebody Absolutely. that you've been friends with for a long time and you know that they just need that one little push or something, that one introduction right. to get to that next level, like it's okay to not get money off of that you know what I'm saying? Right. One person Absolutely. to get to help them get to another level. Absolutely. Like you said, we supposed to be out here elevating each other, pushing each other up. We always be trying to step on each other head and push people back well, down. Because I, right. I don't think everybody got that memo. I, don't I think, think, I think some either. of us got it, but I don't think yeah. every woman yeah. got that memo. They don't. You know what I'm saying? They like shit. I'm trying to get out. Well, that's it. why yeah, we I here gotta... with In The Mix TV, because we trying to promote the artists. We trying to promote the god dog the gums, business, the y'all. tax business, <laughs> the, <laughs> the beautiful psychologist. <laughs> that's right, right? Yeah, yeah. they told me that that's a Psychologist and artists, Absolutely. independent. Yes. Listen, let's go. Let's like go. We trying to support each other and lift each other up, be a living and be able to inspire others and put everybody on a platform to be able for to, for them to see other people like everybody, everybody to see everybody yeah. and everybody yes. to network with everybody and everybody to connect with everybody Absolutely. that's what not just on this podcast we should be doing but in life in life in life and that's how you receive your blessings people absolutely that's how you receive your blessings bless others that's how i know it's not easy you know what i'm saying like when i got my doctor's degree not one but two yeah you know what i'm saying i have a doctor's um, in theology and psychology doing that sleeping in a car not having nothing like i I ain't no excuse it's no excuse yeah it's absolutely no excuse so that's why i say i'm not bashing nobody i be bashing the behavior. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just because I'm not going to glorify something that I really don't want to see y'all doing. Yeah. I know some beautiful women, and I just really wish that they would love themselves just a little more than they do. Well, if they paid attention to you, Diamond, like they should be paying attention to you, Absolutely. then they should learn. Inspiration, They should be man. able to learn a lot from Thank just you, watching you. And I know if you the genuine person that I see you to be, that they know in their heart that you mean them well and they should actually lead they should actually follow your example thank you because you lead by example you lead you talk but you also lead you show and prove you know what i'm saying everybody don't do that and that's what's important being able to follow up with what you're saying absolutely you can say this and say that but then if you go out there and then you like oh look at that you don't do that right so your friends Again, yep. I'm about to kick them out the circle, and I'm about to and take their place. Too, Come on, no, Jessica, thank you, Jessica. I wanted to just yes, 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 of course, oh, absolutely, Jessica. My let goodness. us know Thanks where to contact me. you at because we need the tax information because yeah. we didn't get anything about your business. The tax information, yeah. So, so y'all can find me on Instagram at Max Tax Connection, um, or and even um, and let's underscore talk taxes. Mm-hmm. Um, and then you know you go to my website. You know it. All, on my Instagram, you can find me. My number's on there, my my Instagram, my email, my phone number, everything. So, 
at Max Tax Connection. And what exactly, real quick, does the 15-minute consultation include? The 15-minute consultation is going to include us going over, like, what is your goal? What are you looking for? What are you trying to do? A lot Mm -hmm. of people, you know, they don't really understand taxes, so they Mm -hmm. have a lot of questions. They don't understand how to how to fill out their their you know their their tax forms Mm -hmm. you know so I kind of you know consult with you and try to go through how to fill this out and what you're trying to do what you're looking to do because how you file your taxes can really make a difference if you're trying to buy a house you need to move a certain way with your money if you're trying to buy a home yes if you want to show more income Mm -hmm. or if you want to show less income Mm -hmm. there's ways to do that and then also the most important thing that I always stress to people and definitely in our culture is that you know, a lot of people don't feel like that their side business is really a legitimate, quote unquote, business because mm-hmm. it's not a LLC or S Corp or something like that. Mm-hmm. But it really, you know, you don't have to have a structured business in order to write that off on your yes. taxes. And you need to write that off. Yes, on ma'am, taxes. you do. Yes, ma'am, you <laughs> do. Good advice, baby. Self employed. What about Diamond, too, man? Diamond, t- hey, let everybody know. <laughs> um, we, we know. <laughs> let them know, man. <laughs> Y'all been, y'all got I love me. y'all. Y'all are so dope. I'm having so much fun with you guys. <laughs> um, I can be found at I am Diamond White on everything, Facebook, Instagram, on all social media platforms. I am Diamond White, and it's, it's spelled out just how it sounds. And my website, I am DiamondWhite.com. Before I, I let you, you go, girl. before I let you go, Diamond, I did have one. I give you all the sugar you want, sweetie. <laughs> so I just want to know. Before we let you go, you were one of the last artists, or were you the last artist to work with DMX? I was the last artist to work. She was the. Y'all need to know that. Y'all need to know that. Y'all need to know. He surprised me and did that. Like I was. So how did that make like that's that's something to share with? It was like like, how did that make you feel? It was everything, especially after the fact. I manifested that. Oh, like, wow. that's how you know God is real. God you know is what real. I mean? Like, I literally, like, you can go back on my Twitter and look, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to get DMX on this record. I didn't even know that's DMX. Dope. That's hard. I didn't even know DMX. That's and dope. I put that on my Twitter. You can go back and look at it. And um, I remember in my room, I was at home, and I don't even know what I was going through, but I just really wasn't even having the best day. But I was at home, and um, I think Deb and Pat, his manager, all of them called me on the phone. And they was like, did you check your email yet? And I was like, nah. She was like, check your email. So I go, mm-hmm. I check my email, and I heard him growl at the beginning of the record. Ah, I lost it. I was like, how you doing, Diamond? How you doing? That's amazing. I love it. I love it. I was crying. And she was like, calm down. I can't calm down. I can't breathe. But awesome. so it was it was super so dope. Was it was super awesome, and he got on the record, and he was like, you know, they was like he looked, you know, he was saying, you know, that he really loved the record. So just to have his blessing on a record that was so classic, and him yeah. to do that, that was just everything. And so we were actually in talks, you know, works to shoot the video. Yeah. And so then when I got the phone call, um, we was actually talking, I think the night before, and then when I got the phone call that he. Um, the next morning, my phone's blowing up. DMX is dead. DMX. And I was like, wait, what? I'm oh, tripping. Wow. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. yeah. Like, Come I'm on. tripping. And, um, you know, he actually, he wasn't dead at the oh, time. Right. He was, yeah. you know, still, he was at the hospital or whatever. Yeah. But it was just, it was just very touchy because at the time that it happened, I was still mourning the death of my father. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it was just, it was just kind of bad. Thank you, baby. So it was just kind of a tough time and a tough, you know, I just really wasn't in the best states at that yeah. point anyways. And. You know, and I went out to his uh, his funeral, and it was just it was just really, it was just really emotional good. You could just yeah, too. it was really yeah. emotional, but it was a lot of love, and um, I don't know. It, 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 if nothing else, I will forever have that record in that oh, moment. Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. So, that's yeah. so like yeah. I feel like a cold air just came. Yeah. In. You hear that breeze? I feel that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like you know that. That's nature. Yeah. That's how the universe works. Absolutely. So, um, you gave your contact information. You gave your contact information. We thank y'all so much no, for coming. Shout, shout out to In the Mix. Yeah. I had a blast. It was with the yeah. most amazing segment of the show tonight. Thank was you so much. working with you guys. Like it was beautiful. We appreciate yes. y'all so much for coming. Thank you. Again, thank you. it's your girl Lena Renee. And it's your girl Taddy Kelly. Yeah, so make sure y'all stay tuned. We're here with In The Mix Podcast. Podcast, baby. (laughs) Baby. And you live in the mix. You are in.